hi and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today I am reviewing Pitch Innovations a Rhythm Box. If you uh, kind of watched the Frostbite video, you'll know that I got uh, Rhythm Box on Plugin Boutique for seven quid, which is definitely the cheapest place that you can probably get it. You will be able to get Frostbite or equivocate free with that. And I would highly recommend getting uh, Frostbite too. And you can watch the video that I did for that as well. So that's pretty cool. I haven't really heard much of uh, Pitch Innovations, quite a few kind of products and uh, kind of Groove Shaper was the other one that was, I think very, very similar to Rhythm Box. We've got Fluid Pitch, Fluid Chords. Yeah. So the first kind of thing I want to flag up is that I do not use a laptop. They're kind of promoting this as the essential laptop rhythm sequencer. I don't use a laptop. I've never used a laptop for work, either graphic design or music creation. I always used um, either standalone uh, Mac desktops or um, iMac. So I am on my kind of like fourth iMac at the moment. But it doesn't matter. You can use um, you can use any keyboard and also you can use a MIDI controller as well. So, um, and they don't really kind of seem to, to really mention much about that. So instantly create stunning rhythms and synth patterns on the fly with Rhythmbox. Musical typing reimagined, whether you're a producer on the go or in your bedroom, your setup is always evolving. But in every setup, one thing uh, stays constant, your laptop keyboard. Well, unless you're not using a laptop, obviously. Uh, what if your laptop keyboard could transform into a power rhythm machine? Well, no more tedious sequencing. Perform striking rhythms by switching between patterns on the fly, just using your laptop keyboard. So effortlessly switch between pre-sequence patterns and perform them just using your keyboard. Um, achieve natural expression beats with human-like sequence patterns. Dive into our expertly crafted presets across various genres for instant professional grooves, and it has a built-in sampler. Uh, no more sample hassles. Choose from our sampled kits and produce mix-ready rhythms in no time, plus host your favourite synth or sampler instrument seamlessly. Yeah, so they kind of don't really mention much about that. There's also um, a randomising magic dice malarkey and uh, an advanced multi-sampler. You, uh, you get uh, uh, an AU, a VST, and a VST3, and uh, you can use Intel, AMD, or Apple Silicon. And operating system is 10.13 and above, Windows 10 and above. And you can use QWERTY keyboard or MIDI controllers. And uh, that is it. The, the special launch offer is uh, valid until the 12th of August. So you've got a couple of weeks yet to get that at $9. Uh, I will say that there's no information, there's no manual or anything with this. Some of the other kind of features that uh, I kind of emailed them about and they've cleared that up. So I will you know, let you know what that was about. So anyway, so I will open the, uh, the VST and we will show, have a look and uh, see what it sounds like. Here we are with uh, the VST open, and as you can see, it kind of defaults to the Hi-Hats Trap 140. And if we go into settings, you can see you've got a different, uh, you can change skins, so we can go to kind of like the dark one, which is not really very great. Um, so we'll stick to the, the original one, and then you've got resize window, so I'm in 120%, and it defaults to uh, 120 tempo, and then you can have it maybe sync to your DAW, and then you've got the audio MIDI settings as well. There is also something that when you first start up, you will get this, so you can reopen it, um, um, and it will scan your instrument plugins. And as you see, it's uh, it's already done it and uh, I'll cancel that. It didn't recognize some of them. Um, there was a few errors came up, but um, and I will use some of these during the, the MIDI demo. So I said, I'm gonna start off with using my uh, Bluetooth keyboard. And if we play the uh, the numbers, that is what we are getting. So that is uh, Hi-Hat's Trap uh, pattern uh, one, pattern two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, and if we go to shapes, you can see what the shapes mean. So basically circle is one note, two circles is two notes, triangle is three notes, and square is four notes, and then hectagon is five, that's six, and then we've got seven, and then we've got eight, which is two, basically two squares. So um, instead of using an octagon, they've used uh, two squares. You can create your own patterns quite easily. You just clear the steps and then you can drag these in. Um, for instance, we could have just that. Um, and then you can use the magic dice. So, um, uh, and this I think it means that it will just pick one at random. Uh, 
And if you want to get rid of that, you just right click it. Um, and you can, so you could just actually just have one arrest. And then you could drag in, say, a triangle. So yeah, so it's very easy to create your own patterns and then you can actually save these as well. So you've got your shapes, you've got your settings, so you've got velocity, so you can adjust the velocity of the notes, the gate length, and then you can also transpose uh, by going either up or down. Um, and then you can randomize that as well. And then you've got your trigger sequence. So uh, depending on which one you pick, you'll see that that has a different trigger sequence. So and then you can change that in here. So that's using different hats. So you, you can only have one selected pair vertical row. Um, so you could have that. Randomize that. So uh, what are we on, seven? That's that one. Then you've got your musical typing. So as well as using the numbers, you can actually use the, the letters as well. So the, the letters A to, to G, so that's got a, a standard four to the floor. Bump up the volume again. There doesn't seem to be a kind of volume on here. Um, but we could go into settings and we could bump up the dynamics maybe. And we've got the sampler. So you can see that's the kick there. So we can put the gain up. And we can pitch it down. Pitch it up. And then you've got attack so we could Put the over the attack on. And uh, you can see. Clear all steps because that got stuck there. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it will get stuck in a pattern and uh, it will just keep playing. You, it won't it won't stop. So the best thing is just to clear all the steps and then you can just bring it back in again and uh, we're back to. So that's another little glitch that's happened a few times. It will just get stuck repeating and uh, it won't actually stop. So the, uh, the problem I had is that uh, the drums and the perks um, have samples. So this is the bongos. So all that said, all the drums, uh, and there's like 14 samples, there's not a huge amount. There's 14, there's what, 28 uh, perks. So you've got different um, R, uh, BPMs, and then you've got different, you've got shakers, tambourines. That said, it's very quiet. Congos, but these ethnic film synth and shapes have no samples so that is just patterns and that's just what confused me because i'm thinking well hang on where's the where's the african kind of sample so it will still bliss play whatever was the last um one that you used so the last sample that you used will be played by these rhythms so for instance we could have uh, yeah conga 100 or 120. So that is uh... so that was the thing that confused me because I'm 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 going along um, hitting dubstep bass and it's playing bloody congas. And I'm going what the f um, so I'm not really quite sure what the point of these were. It doesn't say anywhere that this is the case, and you've got basically shapes. So you've got um, basically all squares, triangles. Um, and then you've got forms of pentagon and two eight dance and whatever. So for instance, we could try what two four dance is like. So that is kind of roughly how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up my Arturia. So we'll see how this sounds using some plugins. So as you can see, if you go to Auto Media, you can see I've got my Arteria Keylab set up there. So if you want to play the patterns, you start off at C3. And if you want to just play the actual uh, notes, you start off at C2. So 
that is CV. So we will um, we'll put some bass on maybe. Uh, where's synth? Let's put a dubstep bass. And this window is freaking annoying. And then if you go down to C2. It'll just play the individual um, notes or sequence in this case. Try Bad Boy. So that is like C2, D, E, F. And then, so we will uh, try dubstep three. Yeah, it's not maybe the best one. Let's try beautiful keys. And this box comes up all the time. So if we clear this, uh, clear all steps, and we'll just make a kind of simpler pattern. So we'll have one and uh, two. Um, and then we could have um, three and uh, uh, two and three. And then maybe uh, three and four. Let's try some drum. So you can see it, it kind of works quite easily and you can see the notes moving up there. We could load in some cherry audio. Let's try some other patterns. Let's try some uh, film. Let's try Tycho. Let's try um, gliding moods. Big and bold, right and bold. So it certainly is a lot easier to use your keyboard, I have to say, is kind of rhythm box. And uh, like I said, it's not really something that I would probably use because it's a bit too limiting. The patterns are a bit kind of basic, uh, to be honest. I mean, I would rather use some other type of sequencer. That's it for today. And like I said, uh, you can get this for a seven pound uh, and I would recommend getting it from Plugin Boutique and get Frostbite to free. So anyway, so uh, thanks for watching. And if you are enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, uh, share and comment and I will see you in the next one.